Hi, I'm Debbie Watson. And I'm Al Brunker. And we're from Global Action Plan. Welcome to the EK Teams programme. Global Action Plan is a charity that focuses on what we can all do together to slow climate change. We help people discover how to easily make a difference. And our ideas often have other benefits too, like uniting communities and saving businesses and schools money. We introduced Eco Teams to the UK, and taking part can help you to make simple environmental improvements at home and save you money on your household bills. It is effective because it's about making changes together. If you're not watching this on the EcoTeams website and you would like to take part, then you can simply do so by logging on to www.ecoteams.org.uk. There you can set up your own team or join one in your local area. You'll learn a lot more about the environment and what you can do, picking actions that are easy for you and your family. And you can use EcoTeams measurement tools too, so that you can see what a difference that you're making. Plus, it's great to meet regularly with your team or to chat to each other through www.ecoteams.org.uk. So we're here today to talk about taking measurements. We'll be asking you to take measurements throughout the EcoTeams programme. And that's what this video is about. Measuring our resources is important because it provides us information about the choices we make. What you buy, what you eat, how you use your energy in the home and how you travel. These are all things that have a major impact on the environment. And by measuring, you'll see firsthand where your biggest impacts are. You'll be able to see the environmental impacts of your various behaviours and be able to choose appropriate solutions to bring about changes to reduce those impacts. Throughout the Eco Teams process, by being able to compare the measurements you make at the beginning of the programme with measurements later on, that'll give you proof that the changes you're making to your life really are making a difference. Through EcoTeams, households have made some incredible changes to their carbon footprint. Households have reduced their rubbish by an average of 20%. They've increased their recycling by an average of 5%. They've reduced their electricity consumption by an average of 7%. And their gas and heating energy consumption by an average of 21%. They've reduced their overall carbon emissions by an average of 17% and reduce their water consumption by an average of 15%. So what do we measure? While you are doing EcoTeams, you will spend time thinking about rubbish and shopping, energy, water and travel. But in your first month of EcoTeams, we don't want you to start focusing on any of these actions. Instead, we ask you to take some simple measurements so that we can see the impact that you have in each of the topic areas. Here's how you do it. For measuring rubbish, you will need to weigh your rubbish and recycling. Now this is very, very simple and it will give you some important information such as what products you buy the most or what products you use the most and what you throw away. For measuring energy, we'll look at many different sources of energy. We'll show you how to read your gas and electricity meters. This will probably be a really important skill for you to have to check that you're being billed correctly. Measuring water can be a bit more tricky, as the majority of houses and flats across the UK aren't fitted with water meters. If you do have a water meter, then we'll show you how to take those readings. And if you don't, well then we'll show you some other ways of measuring. Finally, measuring travel. If you have a car, we'll ask you to keep track of how much fuel you put into your car over a period of a month. And we'll also ask you to track how far you drove in that time. You measure all these things in the first month of the project. We encourage you to measure throughout the programme, but the following times are the most crucial for getting an accurate picture of your improvement. You'll probably find all of this quite interesting as you'll be able to see how much you've improved. We'd love to hear about your EcoTeams experience, and this is your chance to tell us. As part of the EcoTeams program, we ask you to take a short survey. By filling out a quick survey, you'll be able to tell us about the actions you've been taking, the people you've been talking to, 
and how EcoTeams has inspired you to take actions elsewhere. By simply ticking boxes, the survey will only take you five to 10 minutes to complete. The information you provide will help you learn more about your actions and how your behavior and attitudes can change over time. Let's take a look at taking action. As you progress through the program with your teammates, each month you'll be given a list of actions relevant to that topic area. To help you monitor your own improvement, every action has been rated bronze, silver, gold or platinum, and you can see how much CO2 you can save. The higher the rating, the bigger the impact that action represents. If you add up the CO2 quantities attached to each action, you'll be able to work out the best combination of actions for you to take to get the largest reduction to your impact. We do this so that you can see how you're getting on. After you've completed the programme, you'll be able to print out a copy of your report which will show you how much you've improved from when you first started EcoTeams. You'll also be able to compare yourself to the national average. Here is a sample report. The information we collect helps us to check whether the advice we're providing really does help people bring about meaningful changes. We do not look at an individual's measurements. We look at how groups of people are getting on, either as teams, organisations, or within particular areas. It's simply so that we can measure how successful our programme is in getting households to reduce their environmental impact. We do not pass on any personal information. We report on the effectiveness of our programmes to our funders, but always using strict anonymity and confidentiality systems. OK, so let's look at what measurements you need to take. Remember that the first month is all about taking measurements. You don't need to do anything but measure. Let's have a look at what that involves. 